Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm Gloria, I'm a hoarder, and I've been doing it for 20 something years. I live here alone with my dogs and cats. What? I got some food. They're so damn cute. Right now I have about 15 dogs and nine cats. When I see animals on the road or starving to death and stuff and they got no home, I try to pick them up and bring them home. I'm Ann and Gloria is my mother. I think the animals are being abused. Go on, daily behave. They all need shots, they're dirty, they have fleas, and they have to live in other animals' feces. I think they were better left on the side of the road. My mother's house was a pigsty. It's piled full to the ceiling. You can't move around without things falling on you, and the smell is just unbearable. My name is Christine, and I'm one of Gloria's daughters. I think my mother hoards because she's lonely and depressed, and she just wants to be surrounded by things because she believes that they will never leave her. Lee was my mother's fifth husband, and he passed away last year. He was coming to the house to pick me up to go to his mom's birthday party, and he got killed right down on the road there. I passed the damn wreck twice, and didn't know it was my husband in the trees. My mother and Lee were together approximately 25 years. I think that they, in the beginning, complimented each other. Unfortunately, Lee was an alcoholic, and I feel like that encouraged my mother to hoard more because she would resent him for being drunk. So she would go out and buy things and bring them in because he didn't like her spending the money. So it was kind of a vicious cycle between the two. Since Lee has passed away, I fear that my mother's hoarding condition has gotten worse because there's no one to answer to at all now. I've tried to fix it, and it just keeps on getting worse and worse and worse and worse. If my mother does not clean up, I will call Adult Protective Services. I will call the Humane Society, and I will call the Sheriff's Department on her. It's my stuff. Nobody can take it from me. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Dorothy Brenninger. I'm a professional organizing expert, and I specialize in hoarding. I'm Dr. Suzanne Chabot, and I specialize in hoarding disorder. We're here because we have a very serious situation going on. You have family members who are ready to call Adult Protective Services mm -hmm. and actually have you removed from your home if we don't clear this up. Mm -hmm. And then we also have an animal expert, Richard. So tell us what you are up to today. Well, we brought in a team from the Humane Society. They're gonna go through and assess all the animals and get the number down to something that's a manageable level for you. Thanks, Richard. Let's do it. Good job, everybody. Don't you keep <laughs> No. We have 30 animals that we have to process. And Gloria told me the number one thing that was important to her were her animals. So today is going to be really difficult. This is Tinkerbell. Okay, Tinkerbell. I have to keep her. Hi, Precious, come here. That's my baby, we can't have him. There's Koala. Did you see she's missing fur back here from my I know, fleas. I gave her back the other day. She had so many fleas on her, it was mm. horrible. Can you picture her at a park with some kids tossing a tennis ball around? And... No. We made sure to have Gloria with us as we assessed each and every animal so that she could see the impact that living like that was having on the animals. It's got some hair loss. See the goop around his eyes? 
the flea conditions, the infections, really living in their own waste with moldy water, it's pretty bad. When you have that many, <laughs> that quality of care starts to go down. I, I think I might have to keep Tucker. But what's best for them? Most of it's gonna come to right here, okay? I'm looking at the day ahead and I'm so worried. Normally we have a full day to get started. I'm absolutely panicked because this house is so full. Why are they taking out all the videos like that? Because they're told to. They can't leave them in the tubs. I got a lot of videos. They don't need to throw them out on the ground. Mom, look at me. They got to repack them into the boxes. How are they supposed to get them out of the house? No, don't throw my Thai babies out. Anything that you say throw away goes on the truck. Right. We, the organizing team, cannot throw anything away. That's up to you. OK. Gloria's condition has gone up and down all day long. I'm finding that she's much more stressed and much more upset about the stuff in her house, whether it's going to be tossed or whether it's kept. Chris! No! There's serious tension among the sisters. There's bickering about what should be kept and what shouldn't. Don't throw away her stuff if you don't okay, get Okay, well, she can tell me. She threw away my mother's Playboy magazines, and they are collector items that meant something to her, and she didn't consult my mom, and I thought my mother needed to be consulted on it. They're going to be up there pulling out the Playboy magazines. I put them in there. What's the problem? We're understanding that they may be collector's items. I don't care. Angela, no. I'm going by what they're saying. OK, no, because if you pull those out, I'm leaving. They're fighting over Playboy magazines on the back of a dump truck. I can't believe it. Mom wanted them because they were collectors in some of them. Everything is a collector's item to okay, her. There's a Marilyn Monroe in there. It's worth about $1,200. And it smells like cat Where the magazines go? Now, now you got to deal with Mom. I throw away because they smell like cat No, I'm not throwing my Playboy magazines they away. They smell like cat I don't care. OK, I'm leaving. I'm done. Don't call me again. OK, I won't. OK. That's my shoe. Grandma, it's got on it. I don't care. I'm not throwing my shoes away. Don't throw my suitcase away. It smells like cat piss. I don't care. Grandma, we already went through that box. We're looking to do it again. Why? Because I wanted to watch where your hand is. It's poo poo in there. So? You're more than poo poo. We're just trying really hard to help you right now. I know you are. And it doesn't matter what we say, you're jumping all over us. Okay. I am covered in dog and piss, mm -hmm. but I still care about you. I know. I just want you to live like you want to be alive. You're not right now. I know. This is the extreme, the filthiest, disgusting place I have ever seen in my life. Mm -hmm. Do you think I want to be here doing this and taking care of this? No. Every time you need a rescue, I've been here. Mm -hmm. okay. This is the last time. OK. Can't do it anymore. OK. I do appreciate you helping me. I really do. Here you go. I know I don't act like it. Tell them something else they need and to I hear from you. And I love you both. I mean, you know. You, 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 then you got to love us back and, and let I us know. make decisions for you, too. OK. OK. All right. Good job. Anne and Brandy were able to actually say, we don't like how you're treating us, and we love you, and you need to trust us. We can tell the difference between what's got poop on it and what doesn't. And Gloria realized she had a breakthrough. The doghouse? Yes. And stuff beside it, it all goes. OK. Knowing it was the last date, we had to get rid of some stuff and get rid of it fast. It's good to go. OK, honey, thank you. So at that point, we made the executive decision to just get rid of anything we don't find fit for a home.
Oh my lord. Welcome home! This is really nice now. This was a very big morning. Everybody was just trucking and moving and hauling and sweating to make this happen. Okay, thank you. Thank you, family. Great job. Let's go look at the rest of the house. Okay, good deal. Wow. It's really pretty, isn't it? What we did was take a house that was essentially one giant litter box and turned it back into a home for Gloria to live in. Every one of these gals mm -hmm. care. They started this and they're finishing this. Mm -hmm. It's because of them that we're here. What do you want to say to them? I want to thank you for helping me do what you did, and I love you all. This is the beginning for this family, and you could see Gloria proud to have a home that her family could be in. It was a sight to behold. It looks really great. I'm not going to relapse and fall back and do, do like it was before. I can't let it get that way. Right. It's really nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to A&E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.